Hi and welcome. In this video we are going to talk about the early history of what is now Great Britain. This is not intended to be an in-depth university level lecture. It is more of a general overview to help those of you studying for the life in the UK test. It is not intended to be a replacement for the handbook that you have for the life in the UK test. It's more of an addition to that in case having someone telling you about it is easier than reading it. You should still refer to the handbook for your test. This video is a short extra to the main sequence of videos to explain how the law of the country changed under Norman rule. So let's get going. First of all, let's look at some of the difficult words you will hear. Compensation is money you are given as an apology for loss or for damage you have suffered. If something is centralised, it means it's under the control of one individual or authority. Consistent means that there are no differences. A precedent is an example of a similar situation that has happened before that is used to make a decision about a current situation. An outcome is the final result. Administered means delivered or carried out. Now try to match the words to the definitions. Are you ready for the answers? Here they come. Listen carefully to the explanation of changes to law and to norm and rule and try to answer the questions. In England, Anglo-Saxon law was carried out at a local level and churches were heavily involved. Crimes were punished either by execution or fines. There was also something called a wear guild which was a fine for killing or injuring someone. That's right, if you killed someone, your punishment was to pay compensation to their family. Not all lives were equal, however, and the price for killing a noble was higher, much higher than for killing a peasant. Under Henry II, what is known as common law evolved. Common law means that the same laws applied to everyone because the system was more centralised. Judges toured the country and tried cases, ensuring that punishments were consistent countrywide. Cases were judged by precedent, that is, similar cases would have similar outcomes because they were ruled in the same way as last time. Alongside common law was a process called equity, which ruled on a basis of fairness. Both of these were replaced in 1873, but we haven't got to that bit of history yet. During the Middle Ages, being a judge gradually became a recognised profession, which required special knowledge and education. In Scotland, there was a similar system. Little is known about the law before the 12th century, but it was probably administered locally, as it was in England. King David I, who was King of Scotland from 1124 to 1153, established sheriffdoms which were to oversee justice. During the 1300s, some Scottish laws were written down and approved by Scottish Parliament. And here come the answers to the questions. Here is a brief summary of those main points. Anglo-Saxon law was decided at local level. Norman law was decided at countrywide level. 
the same laws applied to everyone. Judges travelled around the country to make sure punishments were consistent. Similar crimes had similar punishments. Being a judge became a recognised profession. Scotland had a similar system to England, but some of their laws were written down. I hope you found that useful. You may wish to listen again, but if you feel confident, look out for the next videos coming soon. I look forward to welcoming you back.